Hello everyone, welcome to another movie review, and this time it's on the movie No Country for Old Men. This movie came out back in 2007. What do I think about this movie? Is it bad? Is it good? Is it great? Um, I will be going over everything, but that being said, I think it's actually a good movie. Uh, to me, personally, I think this movie was just overhyped when it first came out. Uh, I think this is like my second time watching it. Uh, the first time that, that I went to watch it, I fell asleep. And like I told uh, told you guys before, uh, when I fall asleep in the movie, I can't not face it off of that. I have to be watching at least 30 minutes to an hour. But to me personally, because I'm doing a review, I should be watching the whole thing. And that's pretty much what I did this time around. I saw the whole thing. Um, I do know I fell asleep at one point, but I think it was like just five minutes. Just five minutes. So I saw mainly the the majority of this movie. The, uh, the majority of this movie. And uh, I actually think it's good. Like I said, overhyped. Uh, let's go over everything. Um, the cast. Uh, it has um, great actors, and I think that, personally to me, that's the best part of this movie. The actors. Uh, Tommy Lee Jones, Woody Harrelson, Javier Bottom. Uh, I might be butchering the name, uh, but I do know him as well. I think those are the only ones that I know from this movie. Yeah. Did I say Tom Lee Jones? I think I did. Um, and to me personally, that like what he said, I think that's the best part of the movie. Uh, the the cast actually did a great job for what they were given. A great job, and I do know that this movie won a lot of awards. And to me personally, based on the acting, if you based on that. Yeah, I can see why. I can see why it won so many awards. Based on the acting, that is. Uh, the graphics for its time and type. Pretty awesome. Uh, not the best. Not the best of the best. Considering its time and type. But I would say it's up though for, for the time and type. Uh, I would, so like I said, pretty awesome. Um, the, the worst thing about this movie, the story, what do I think about the plot? I've heard so many people uh, tell me over the years uh, that, oh, it has such a great plot, such a great plot. Now that I've uh, finally watched this movie, I'm like, really, really, a great plot? I disagree with that. I disagree with it completely. Uh, it's not to say that it's crap. It's not. I would have to say it's just decent. The plot itself was just decent. Nothing special. Nothing good. Just decent. Uh, I would have to say it's written pretty well. Pretty well. I'll give it that. But... I just, I don't know. The storyline just doesn't do it for me. Yeah. So, in to total honesty with everything combined, I I'd say this is a good movie. Has potential to be better, but just flat out good. That's it. IMDb gives this movie an 8.1 out of 10 with all the users combined. And I disagree with that. I disagree with that completely. Uh, to me personally, well, would I rate this? I would probably give it a 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10. Yeah. It was good, but that's it. It has, it has potential to be better. Just in the end, it just wasn't. Anyhow, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and if you loved this movie or didn't love this movie, you can let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think, what your thoughts are. I always love your comments, whether you love the movie or hate it. 
can like this uh, video, like this review, and you can subscribe to my channel if you love my content. So thank you all for taking time to watch. Join me next time for another movie review I can do soon. I am out.